Bye, girl. <laughs> Hey friend, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. So today, we're gonna to be looking into other people's drama. Fun. So there's this subreddit on Reddit and it's called, am I the a-hole? And it's literally people just spilling their tea and other people's drama is always much fun because who wants drama in their life? Not me. So I've been looking at a few threads and we're gonna decide, are they the a-hole or not? Okay, so the first one, it reads, Am I the asshole for going to my friend's house where my wife told me to f off? My 27 year old male wife, 27 year old female, is seven months pregnant. Since she's been pregnant, she's been having a go at me for small things like if I don't make dinner for her or when I cook her the wrong thing. Before she was pregnant, she was never like this. She was always very sweet. Yesterday, my wife came back from her parents' house and I made a homemade pizza for us. She told me she didn't want the pizza and to cook her something else. Okay. I told her, if it's quick and easy, I would make it. She asked me for some homemade chicken dumplings. I told her I'm not making that because that will take ages. She told me she's pregnant and she's craving dumplings. I told her, I know you're pregnant, but I ain't making no dumplings for you. Oh no! You better make me dumplings when I'm pregnant. If I'm carrying your baby, I ask you to go outside and kill a cow and take his heart out, season it and put it in some tacos, that's what you should have to go and do because you should have thought about that before you got her pregnant. Oh my God, make her the dumplings. I can't imagine being pregnant and someone's not making me dumplings. You're her husband. Make the dumplings. You're not the one carrying the baby for seven months. Make the dumplings. I told her I'm not making the dumplings because it will take ages. She told me she's pregnant, she's craving dumplings. I told her, I know you're pregnant, but I'm not making dumplings for you. She started having a rage that I wouldn't cook her something. It was 6 p.m. at night and I'm not whipping up all these ingredients. I told her to make it herself or not to have anything. When I had my pizza, he ate. He still ate. When I had my pizza, she was sitting on the couch sobbing, saying that I don't love her or the baby. You, you, you don't. You don't. You don't. Because if you loved her, you would have just made her those chicken dumplings. This is just too much. I, oh, I'm about to cry. Only 6 p.m. What time did you go to bed? How long does it take to make dumplings? How long? does it take to make chicken dumplings it says six minutes it doesn't even take long to make dumplings what the hell you could have just made it to dumplings how long does it take to make dumplings if it takes two hours to make dumplings if you start making dumplings at six o'clock you'd be done by eight i'm so confused why i couldn't make the dumplings i told her i'll make the dumplings tomorrow night for her but not tonight she told me to fuck off somewhere else I asked my friend if I could stay the night with him and he said yes. Packed my clothes, slammed the door behind me. When I was halfway to my friend's, my wife texted me begging me to come back. So I told her to f off like she did with me. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. You are the king of assholes. You are horrible. You are so rude and so nasty. Oh, you are horror. This is not right. She's pregnant. But dumplings can't, it literally cannot take more than an hour to make dumplings. I just, I don't believe that it's gonna take more than an hour. And if anything, okay, two hours. You telling me you couldn't take two hours of time to make your wife happy, but then you told her to F off. You clearly don't like her. She's carrying your baby. Okay, you didn't make the dumplings, but you literally told her to F off. That was so unnecessary. That was so rude. You are nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty person, in my opinion. Put him in the bin. I don't know what you need to do to, for me to forgive you. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a missing shark before I can speak to you again. I ain't talking to you until you book me a flight to Paris. That was too much. Poor babe, she, she does not deserve this. She's coming to talk about agreeing with him. Wow. Am I an asshole for announcing my pregnancy news the same day my cousin announced she was engaged. 
I, 30 year old female, am a part of extended family group chat on Facebook. My family rarely chat in the group unless there's big life events happening or we're organizing a family event. Earlier this year, one of my aunties asked if anyone had any life updates to share. My cousin, 30 year old female, had a particularly big life update and announced she got engaged to her partner of seven years. Your partner of seven years? How are you dating someone for seven years? Like, how do you even do that? What's seven years? Unless like you started dating at a really, really young age, but okay, then they started dating at 21. Cause she's 30. So wait, hold on. What, three years? If not, bye. If you haven't made the decision after three years, what are we doing? Like you don't know you're gonna marry me after the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh year. It's literally seven years to propose to someone. Oh, hell no. I would have told her, bitch, you stupid for saying yes. You started dating at 23 and you're proposing to you when you're 30. What was you doing for seven years? Seven years. It took somebody seven years to propose to you. <laughs> you living in the ghetto. All the family, including myself, congratulated her and I was genuinely very happy. I didn't think too much of it at the time, but I thought since we were going around sharing life updates, I thought it would be only fitting to announce my pregnancy in a group chat as well. Okay, yes. All my family congratulated me as well. Everyone seemed really excited about my, my baby news, including my cousin. A couple of days later, my cousin mentioned me a long paragraph, absolutely furious. She accused me of stealing her spotlight, announcing my pregnancy on the same day as her engagement, although she seemed very happy, happy for me in the group chat the day before. I immediately apologized to her and felt guilty after the fact. What? My cousin never messaged me back after the apology and I didn't talk to her again for the rest of my pregnancy. I'm really, really sad about all this and it's formed a wedge between my mum and my aunt as they've taken sides. On top of it, several months later, my beautiful baby daughter was born on the same day as my cousin. <laughs> Wait, this cousin's gonna hate you. <laughs> this cousin is gonna absolutely hate her. She said, my beautiful baby daughter was born on the same day as my cousin's birthday. Coincidence, right? What a kawinky dinky. It's gonna hate your bloody guts. I have very recently given birth to a beautiful daughter and I wanted to make my baby announcement the day she was born, as you should. However, I could not bring myself to do it because my cousin turned 30, which is a huge milestone. I'm so sorry, this is stupid. You think I'm not announcing my baby? Bye girl. I'm already not on speaking terms with my cousins and her family just over, over this. And I don't want to steal my cousin's spotlight the second time. I already feel deep down that I have every right to celebrate my daughter's birth as she should and her future birthdays without having to feel guilty of stealing somebody else's spotlight because they share a birthday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Honey, your cousin's petty and stupid. They literally asked in the group chat, any big life updates? And she wants to be the only one with a life update. Please make it make sense. She shouldn't be able to come to you with these issues. You should have said, oh, well, sounds like a personal problem. Announce your baby. Announce your baby's birth. Announce your baby's birthday. Like, she thinks she's the only person with that same birthday. You know how many people probably share the same birthday as her? She should be excited that she got a birthday twin. That's in the family. You are not the asshole in this. Throw the cousin away. Like, you bitch, you stupid. Oh my God, you're a dumb bitch. Oh, I can't stand you. I don't even know you and I can't stand you. You actually texted her this. Really? And what spotlight? Oh my God, is this your spotlight? You need to get something else in your life going on. You actually need to do other things in your life. Like, be proud of other things. You need to achieve. Learn something. You learn a skill. Get a good job. Buy a car. If this is your only spotlight that you have in your life, then there's something wrong with you, babe. So the next one says, am I the a-hole for asking her to half my Uber? Okay. I met this girl on a dating app. We've been talking for about two weeks and hitting it off great. She lives about two hours away by public transport and 45 minutes away by car. So it's been difficult to meet up. I told her several times that I'll be willing to come over. I meant by a public transport, despite me not saying explicitly. She said her place is a mess and she was traveling out for the holidays 
So we basically postponed the meeting until after the holidays. At around nine, she tells me if I can come over. Again, this wasn't planned. So I tell her that because it's late, public transport won't do and I'll have to take an Uber. Uber was a hundred dollars. So I asked her if we can half it because it's too expensive. She got pissed, obviously. She told me that she was willing to have me come over despite her place being a mess. She also told me that if she's going to meet me, she won't ask me to pay for gas. She has a car. So in my mind, it's just that $100 is really expensive for me and I don't make that much. Yeah. And I will have to get a ride back too, which I really didn't think about how I'll manage. So am I the asshole? Please get off your apps and get your money up. There's no way a grown man is asking me to half his Uber ride. There is no world where I'm going to be like, yeah, that's right. That makes sense. You get your life together. This is absolutely appalling. You went to her and asked her to half your Uber. Oh, this is mind blowing. Like you lot blow my mind. There is no way in this life you thought that was okay. She should give you half. You, it couldn't even be better if you said, hey, if you can't pick me up, I'll give you $50. That's what you should have said. But you said, I'll take your Uber and you give me $50 for me to come and see you at your house. <laughs> Are you joking? $100 on an Uber is a lot. But when she said that, you embarrassed yourself and went to go and ask her for $50. Even the, the fact that you embarrassed her and told her that you're going to ride on the bus for two hours shows that you're a dickhead. See your life. There's something fundamentally wrong with you because you thought that you could tell my man to pay $50 for you to come and sit in her team. Man, when did life become like this? When was this type of thing normal? And this is the first time you're meeting her as well. You did a great job impressing her. I would have blocked you. That would have been the last conversation we've ever had in, in your life. Ugh, vomit, ick. This is ick worthy. Red flag is waving. The red flag is waving. Through the wind. You should have walked before you asked her for that $50. Walked there and back. How much is it for you to walk? This is a perfect comment. It says, you are the a-hole. Asking for half when a woman asks you to come over is the most self-driving thing you can do to her. You should have played it cool. Even if she went halfway there, you still can't afford to get home. Acting busy would have worked better for you in that moment. For the long run, filter your search and miles, buddy. Just please delete the app. You need to sort your life out. You even said that you don't own that much. Why are you, why are you pursuing somebody then? You can't even go to their house. A dollar is a lot of money, but no, I'm so sorry. You can't ask me for money the first time I meet you. It's, there's no way you can frame that. You said no, I'm taking the bus tomorrow. You should have walked, you should have drove, you should have swam, take a bike ride, hitchhike, come on, ride your mum's back. You ask me for $50 for your Uber. I wouldn't have responded, I would just block you. This one says, am I the asshole for leaving my friend's birthday and taking everyone who carpooled with me? Uh -uh -uh. Nancy, who's a 26 year old female and I, 29 year old female, have been friends for around two years now. I was introduced to her by my ex who's been long time friends with Nancy's husband. Okay. It's really fun when your boo introduces you to your new friend because your boo's friends, spouses are usually really cool people. But it's so awkward when you guys break up and it's like, do I still be friends with her? But anyway, my ex and I split up three months ago and I enforced no contact. She said, don't talk to me. Uh, it was Nancy's birthday a few days ago and she invited me. Because I met her through my ex and he'd been friends with Nancy and her husband for years before me, I asked if he would be there. She said it shouldn't matter and that I was welcome even if he was. But she didn't ask you that. Sometimes my American accent comes out and it's getting good because I've been here for so long, so I don't even know if I'm British or American anymore. I said it would make me uncomfortable to bump into him. It's only been three months. You want to see him? I don't want to see him. She later confirmed that my ex said he wouldn't be able to make it, so I agreed to go. I live in a different part of the state and she had other friends she'd invited from the area. So I agreed to drive around four other girls to Nancy's birthday, stay the night, then come home the next evening. We get there and everything is going great. Dinner, birthday cake, pool party. Around half past midnight, my ex shows up. Oof. He kept his distance and didn't try to talk to me 
beyond the initial greeting but i felt awful and couldn't stand to be around them of course who wants to see their dusty ex you hate him after three months i still hate you the hate is so fucking strong i'm bloody well and i know she's i want to get him i tried to go to bed but couldn't sleep after about an hour i told nancy and the girls who carpooled with me that i will be leaving to return home but since the girls had no way of getting back without me besides public transport or cab they had to pack up and leave with me too two of them had been completely understanding and say that i shouldn't have to be around someone i'm uncomfortable with especially since i asked and i checked several times if he was coming one of them thinks i'm being an a-hole but she wanted to go home anyways the last one thinks i'm an a-hole and that i could have just gone to the bedroom nancy hasn't said anything but i'm pretty sure she thinks i'm an a-hole you know what yeah i absolutely get both sides but do i think you're an a-hole overall no i also think the ones that think you're a-hole the friends that's that end up leaving with you why did they say it's that night anyway the birthday over it's all right it's 12 o'clock at night and i don't think you're being an a-hole you just went for a breakup it's only been three months and you said no contact and for you to enforce no contact that means you're really trying to get over him you're trying to move on to the next part of your life who wants to see their ex three months later down the line she asks you so many times to confirm he's not going to be there then he shows up why is he showing up i personally feel like she probably lied about him not showing up she knew he was coming of course she did but she wanted her to come so she just said oh he's not coming why wouldn't he come why wouldn't he come he probably came especially because he knew that she was going to be there there's no proof that he did that but i know that she did that i know in my soul that she did that i wouldn't necessarily stay and be uncomfortable and i feel like nancy should be understanding she didn't say nothing because she does think you're an asshole but if she wants to be mad on her birthday let her be mad on her birthday but i'm so sorry you gotta choose you sometimes sorry girl bye bye girl let's do this one this one seems juicy am i the asshole for being mad my friend kissed my ex and lied What's wrong with these shady people are so shady like why would you be kissing your friend's ex but she said ex so is that ex or is it just like her ex but she said ex what does that mean for anonymity purposes anonymity purposes anonymity purposes oh my god girl I, my reading is horrible anyways for anonymity purposes how you fucking say this word anonymity anonymity okay <laughs> I'm a na 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 Okay. For anonymity. anonymity purposes, I will call my friend Katie. On a night out with Katie, I met this boy who I will call Jack, who I thought was good looking and subsequently got with. What are these words? Girl, you're an English major? Me and Jack stayed in touch after that for about five months and things got very close to a relationship okay she was in a situation until he revealed truly narcissistic aspects of his personality and we both realized we weren't right for each other oh i was disappointed majorly at the time but looking back on it a bullet was dodged katie didn't speak to jack much that night i met him although she knew we were seeing each other throughout my time speaking to jack he made numerous com comments about katie he said this was to wind me up, although it was probably how he truly felt. Saying stuff like, your mate you were with that night was so fit, etc, etc. And also, numerous inappropriate comments which I somehow brushed off as laddie banter. Oh girl, we've all been there. Katie had a boyfriend at this time and I was upset by the inappropriate comments as was her boyfriend. You know what? It's always telling when you're dating a guy and they always have inappropriate things to say. It like shows you the lack of respect and what they're doing is they're trying to kind of break you down to see how far they can go. Why would you be saying that her friend is so fit to her face? That is so weird. And yeah, that's a narcissist. Fast forward to Bio Mom, Kay is now single and Jack has started messaging her on social media. Katie tells me saying that how weird he is and I asked her not to start anything with him as it would upset me. And I didn't think he had any good intentions. I think Katie's shady because why does she need to tell her friend not to do it? Obviously, like, I would have to tell my friend, please don't start talking to him because I'm just going to be upset and I just can't take it right now. Like, obviously, so Katie's been the shady bitch from the beginning. She thinks Katie's a whore. Katie, you're a whore. She agrees 
and said she would never go there anyway and I didn't think much of it until she mentions him messaging her again about three weeks later I questioned her on it and said I thought you weren't chatting to him which she replies I'm not he just keeps messaging me fast forward Katie and Jack end up at the same university Kate is home from uni and mentions a funny night she had out with Jack. I was quite shocked because I didn't even know they were in touch and she knew how badly he treated me towards the end. So I didn't think they would form a friendship. Of course, this is, she has no loyalty. Her argument is that she struggled to make friends at uni and he was a familiar face and someone she knew and that they were just friends. Which doesn't make sense to me as I mentioned they only knew each other because of that night I met him. The next time she came home, I saw the list of people she had kissed on her phone and Jack was on there. Once she knew I seen, she apologised profusely, saying that she hadn't slept together, but I'm not sure if I believe her. I might have asked her for feeling betrayed. No, and she did sleep with him. First of all, writing a list down of people that you've done stuff with, is all, I find it quite weird. And because I'm African, it's just like, God forbid, back to sender, taking off your list, I'm not going to listen, Jesus' name, I erase my name from any list in Jesus' name, unless it's a list of blessings that God has made. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I know people do it, it's quite a common thing, but people never do it for people they kissed. Yes, it's always people they usually sleep with, so she probably did sleep with him, and that's probably her list of <laughs> that she slept with. I think she's on bullshit, I feel like if she was a loyal friend to you, she would be so angry at him for what he did to you and how narcissistic he was and how he treated you, she should be annoyed by him, she should be disgusted by him. This is not what real friends do. But she did say that he was a familiar face at uni. Sometimes in uni environments, it's easy to make friends with people, especially that's in your friendship group. I feel like if there was your friend at uni, the only way that I would let that fly is if we became friends in the same friendship group it wasn't just me and jack it was me jack and 20 other people or me jack and five other people we we're all friends i guess that's when i would like you know what whatever you know what i mean you are in uni uni is just trying to make as much friends as possible i've been there but this is shady and i would not be her friend anymore this girl is lying she knows that jack was saying those inappropriate comments then he started dming you on, on instagram and then now you're friends and kissing him you're not an asshole she's not loyal to you and she is sleeping with him, unfortunately. She is 10,000% sleeping with him. Don't let her fool you. What someone with a comment say? Can people say she is an asshole? She said, yes to asshole, but in your defense, not a huge asshole. I think your feelings are understandable and I have empathy for how you feel. But at the same time, I don't agree that you're betrayed. You went out with a guy for a few months. I never had an official relationship with him. And then months later, she kissed him. I just don't see the big deal. You don't get to dictate who they date or f You cannot like it, sure, but you weren't betrayed. She was betrayed. They're actually saying that she didn't betray her. Not at all. You can feel however you feel, but Katie didn't betray you. You weren't even in a relationship with this guy. You don't get to control what either of them can do. Or maybe I'm in the difficult from a different cloth because don't talk to any guy that I'm speaking. Even if I've just spoken to him on FaceTime, don't speak to him. Actually, if I've just spoken on FaceTime, you can't actually speak to him. It's not deep. She's definitely done stuff with him sexually. I can tell by what she said. She said that we got together. And it's a situation shit. I don't really know what the biggest difference between situationship and relationship is. I just kind of feel like it's situationship is just a relationship without the titles. It's still a relationship. I'm so sorry, she did betray her. Even if it wasn't a sexual thing, she didn't kiss him or nothing like that. Why are you trying to be friends with somebody that done something wrong to me? That's weird. Even, why do you want to be friends with my op? Oh my God, everyone's saying it's none of your business. Maybe I'm immature. I, I don't know. These comments are saying that she's not. They're saying betrayal is extreme. What? Okay, guys, that's it for me today. I've had so much fun filming this. Um... Reading people's dramas and being in other people's business is so fun. Actually, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Boom, 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 boom.